Hundreds have gathered here in front of the Washington County Administration building, calling for the end of a mask mandate, saying they are tired of not living their normal lives. All right, so this is in uh, Salt Lake City, Utah, I think. I know it's in Utah. So obviously Utah is a big old state, so they they definitely should have a mask mandate. But some people think otherwise. <laughs> also, the news reporter didn't even have her mask. How are we to know that she's not a part of them? What? What is she talking about? Are masks about federal funding? No? That just makes no sense. If you don't want to give your money to the federal government, what are you doing? Oh, it, it's five dollars to get one mask? Oh, uh, no, I can't do that. That makes me pay a little bit of money to the federal government. I just can't do that. A passionate call for action Friday morning in St. George. Several police officers on standby as many locals called concerns about coronavirus spike. Dog, oh my god. You know anti-maskers get a little cuckoo when police have to show up. They're there just like, if one of you coughs on another, I'm getting the taser out. Look how much effort they put into that sign. Look at that! I have never seen that much effort gone into an anti-mask sign since ever. No, scratch that. I've never seen that much effort go into a sign, period. Overblown. The flu kills more than coronavirus. <laughs> uh, oh my god. Look at him. He's staring right into the camera and saying, The flu kills more than the coronavirus. Are you serious here? Has this kid ever gotten the flu? I highly doubt that. And how, dude, how can you say that? This is not even coming from him. His parents, when they had a one-on-one -on -one talk with him about the pandemic and coronavirus, their parents outright said, the flu kills more. This kid is probably eight years old. He probably already has an iPhone X. So why doesn't he just Google if their par his parents are right or not. He can't even do that. Or even like talk to his friends on Fortnite and have them Google it. He can't even do that. Others calling the virus a hoax or stating that asymptomatic carriers simply do not exist. What? And they cannot be forced to wear masks anywhere as citizens of the United States. Here's the thing. They heavily advise you <laughs> to wear a mask. There is a clear difference between advising someone to do something and forcing them to do something. No one is forcing you to wear a mask. When has anybody, any like, uh, let's say like big public figure, how many of them have, have said you're forced to wear a mask? Absolutely no one. Look at this sign. We the people. First off, stop that. You are literally taking the first three words of the gosh darn Declaration of Independence and linking it to your anti-mask sign. Stop right there. Just stop. If we want to wear a mask, that's fine. We can take care of ourselves. All right, then wear a mask. Rally attendees say they shouldn't ever wear masks if they have any medical issues or mental health concerns. Now, here's the thing with Corona. People that have breathing issues have a problem, but mental health issues? What kind of mental health issues are affected by your breathing? Like you wear a mask and then your anxiety goes up by 500%. When you put on a mask, what happens to your mental health? Absolutely nothing. All right. All right. This, this, this woman. Okay. I want you to stop what you're doing and I want you to take full attention. I want you to hear what she's saying. You will not believe what she's about to say. When George Floyd was saying, I can't breathe and then he died and now we're wearing a mask and we say, I can't breathe. But we're being forced to wear it anyway. You heard it here, folks. Wearing a mask is exactly similar to George Floyd. I know, I know you guys want to hate her, but honestly, we don't need to do it. All she needs to do is go home to her husband that's on the brink of divorce, who's sitting on the couch all day. Give it two weeks, that they're both separated. Just give it time. Soon, she won't have a husband. How about that? But many stated that they believe in all cases, masks jeopardize kids' health. Parents are demanding they have the right to decide what to do with their children. Oh, 
you're a parent and you have a child, whose responsibility is it to take care of them? Yours! Oh, we have the right to help our kids. Yes! Do you not know what being a parent is? But if you're an anti-masker and you don't make your kids wear masks and then they get corona, whose fault is it? It's yours, not the governor's. I'll tell you another reason I hate masks. Most child molesters love them. What is this? Oh yeah, I love my health and safety. That makes me a child molester. And she's so, she's so happy about saying it. She skipped her nap ever since lunchtime. She needs to take it. Like, I'm sorry. Like, get her out of this protest. She needs to go home and take a nap. I'm sorry. Administrators responding that they don't understand why crowds are protesting them based on a mandate given by the governor. They blocked off the uh, front entrance to the school building and we went out to ask them to move and they uh, attempted to storm the school building. And that is just, that is bad. Because literally they're protesting a mask mandate enforced by their governor. And they're at the schools. Are you kidding? Do you know how stupid it would be if I looked outside my school window and I saw a bunch of anti-maskers going, oh, We don't want to wear a mask! We can't wear a mask! Do you know how stupid that would be? I've never seen a protest ever. But if it was around my school and it was a bunch of 40-year-olds... I wouldn't survive that day. And if a parent is adamant that their child cannot wear a mask or a shield, they must feel- <laughs> Man, you just- I identify as a fresh air breather. How zero IQ do you have to be to make a shirt like that? And you like choose like the most basic font ever. No one's buying your shirt, dude. I identify as a fresh air breather. You should have changed that to I identify as a brain dead moron. That's what you should have changed it to. Like, it's terrible. It's terrible that people actually think this way about a disease. Like, oh, it's not real. Oh, the thousands of people are dying. They're not really dying. Like, it's so bad. And then they want to say it's political? That just makes no sense. A disease is never political. It never was and it never will be. It's just for the health and safety of others. It's not political. People that genuinely think this way are idiots. They're just idiots. Like, any good sense of them being a good person is just completely gone when they say, Oh, I don't like masks, and the corona is a hoax. It just completely devoids them of anything. Of any substance, any good, any anything in this world. That's what it does. It's just terrible.